Hello! Uh, hi there! It's me! It's Dave! Or the Jaded Rabbit! Uh, God bless you, my friends! Thank you kindly for joining along. Means a lot that you choose to spend some of your day with me. But today brings to us the aftermath of the weekend drama that has been going on since last week. The drama unfolds. It continues. It's like a soap opera because this should be happening on the daily, but I don't have the time to be keeping up with all of it, nor do I really care about like inserting myself into it at least. I am just over here eating my popcorn, like, donut come for me, we are just observing. I am Switzerland, I am neutral observer, and I guess before we get into anything, it would be prudent to have a disclaimer here that I mean no ill will to anyone, I have no harm or hate in my heart, and I encourage everyone to also have no harm or hate in your heart. Please don't do anything. Don't contact people. Don't send them messages. We are going to be taking a look at Twitter messages. Don't reply to them. Just don't. <laughs> Just don't do anything. I don't understand why people love to run their mouths on Twitter. And it just becomes this whole big shenanigans. And I mean, honestly, this is kind of a symptom of the fact that the game sucks. And I think a lot of people are wanting to point fingers and just... Yeah, like, instead of actually laying the blame where it requires to be laid, at the feet of the developers, they designed this game. Look how long it takes to load between a match. Why is that? Why is the game so unoptimized? Don't tell me, WB. Because it's, it's not WB who made this talisman, <laughs> or made this talisman possible. Nope, that was Derek Kurtzik lying to us even before release. Like, I know who lied to me. It wasn't WB. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get that. So I know who and where to put the blame. But I think a lot of people are losing the plot. A lot of people from all over. And I am here, Jaded Rabbit, to remain jaded and neutral. And just observing. We are just observing. I am not saying anything, but I think we should get into it because there is quite a lot of like tea drama that's going on. And honestly, it feels like bootleg Game of Thrones. <laughs> bootleg Game of Thrones. That's what I could liken it to. You've got all these factions of people that are warring against each other, and it's much. Like, calm down, people. Keep keep, keep your drama. And I mean, it's sad, because it's all about a video game. Like, we're not battling for Res Westeros. We're not battling for the Iron Throne. We're battling what? For who's right? Is that why people are fighting? Who's right? Who cares? <laughs> it's a video game. <laughs> okay. So, yes, all of this drama has got me uh, burning up in all of my... <laughs> it's got my kitty cat set aflame. <laughs> my pussy on fire. So, yes, here. This is, this is what I'm feeling right now. Do you smell that? Do you smell that? It's like something's burning. Is that... It's like something is burning. Is that... My pussy? My pussy? Yes. Yes. Smack. So that's how it feels right now. And by the end of this video, you will also be able <laughs> to feel like this. Okay. And okay. And I guess like before we get into the drama, I just one more thing I wanted to say. Like shill or anti-shill or getter jade or whatever it seems at this point everyone has acknowledged 
that the game is not living up to expectations. And I think from my perspective, that's victory. Claimed victory over Brusque Poet when he made his video reading the stupidness off of Reddit as to how to improve the game. Yes, already claimed my victory long time ago, so I don't really feel like there's need to have continued conflict. But continued conflict is kind of what we're getting. So after my last live stream, there was this... I'm trying to find the word to describe it. I don't have that word. There was this in interview, sit-down conversation, fireside chat between Dynasty, Tom Brady, and Mike Hollow. If you're unfamiliar with any of these characters, don't worry. I just learned who Tom Brady was recently. <laughs> and Mike Hollow. So just, it's okay. Like, you don't have to know who these people are. I think the more interesting thing is Dynasty. Because I think everyone knows who Dynasty is. And Dynasty speaks very little in this fireside chat. And I would have appreciated to hear more from Dynasty. But pretty much uh, all of all that I needed to know from this two and a half hour long conversation. I know that my streams are long, but you know, we have conversations here like, hey there, chat. How many of you are here? 14. <laughs> Can we get 14 likes? <laughs> or get out. What are you doing here? Oh, my word. So, yes. Uh, so, Dynasty goes on to say here in response to his days of shilling for MK11. What was that relationship like between him and WB? And I thought this was very interesting. And yeah, since you were in their good graces at one point, do you know, because I'm not actually sure if these other content creators are also uh, covering leaks. Yeah, even going back to the days of MK11, um, I didn't really change the, the content I was making. Believe it or not, you can go back to my channel. The first ever upload I had was uh, MK9's leaked character select screen. Yeah. So I've always kind of just consistently been myself, which meant covering leaks. My whole idea that I... Okay, so I mean, he's going to say that like leaks are the reason of why he's no longer there. I, I find this very interesting. Subscribe to is like, okay, if IGN can talk about it, GameSpot can talk about it, all these giant corporations, why can't some dude just take it upon himself to give his opinion? And that's yeah. kind of always been my thing. So yeah, I've I was covering leaks. I think even before I signed the uh, the deal with WB, if you remember, there was like email leaks that mentioned like Ronda Rousey was going to be at the reveal event mm. and that sort i talked about that i know like other creators pro so this is all very like news to me foreign to me because i wasn't interested in that stuff leading up to mk11's release i only jumped onto mk11 after it was released <laughs> i did the smart thing back then why didn't i do that now <laughs> players i could name a couple i really don't want to but uh i know in particular super Okay, so I don't really want to name players, but I'm going to name Super, Honeybee. Isn't Honeybee a pro player? Uh, Honeybee. Uh, a lot of people like that, both sides, content creators, Strictly, and pro players, were doing what I was doing. So, yeah, I've always really just covered leaks, and apparently that's the reason why I got quote-unquote blacklisted, according to Alan Johnson, the head of WBPR currently. Because I asked them, I was like, hey, dude, we signed the brand deal. I haven't heard from you in like a year. Is it something with my content? Did I piss someone off? Like, yeah. how do you go from, you know, being treated like your voice matters to essentially being, you know, exiled from the community? And the response I got was, oh, it's because you covered leaks. And I replied back and I was like, well, that's interesting because I was doing that forever. And if that was an issue, all you had to do was say, don't cover leaks. Okay, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to highlight from that little live, not little, it's a, it's a big live stream. But that's what I wanted to highlight, because I 
did touch on Alan Johnson before. This is the guy who does influencer marketing at WB Games. So what Dynasty is saying fits into what I already understand. But it's interesting, because I did not know this, to hear that they sign a brand deal. I wasn't too sure if there was like any sort of written dealings contractual obligations because the only person i've had conversation with one-to-one about any of this was brusque poet and he said that wb emailed him but to understand that if you are like i guess at the shillery level of dynasty at that time that you would be signing a contract Ooh, very I don't know. I would I don't know about signing any sort of documentation associated with WB. Uh, WBD. Let's think about what WBD has created recently. Okay, so I you know, there's 90 day fiance. 600 pound life um seeking brother husbands yes uh, yes ma'am let's seek those brother husbands barbie god i did not like barbie i you know it's pink it's got that going for it but aside than aside from that no um so yeah i just signing over some sort of documentation and i love that he doesn't want to name names dynasty but he eventually named super honeybee and alan johnson just in that little short little span <laughs> so, you know the tea is piping hot it's so hot. So Alan Johnson, very interesting. I think if you see like people interacting with Alan Johnson, that might be a clue that they are par- par- maybe part of this influencer marketing initiative run by WB Games. I mean, it's smart. There's no regulation and there's like no ethics either. Like no one cares about, you know, paid promotional ads coming from videos whereas like in the makeup community like makeup artists like you have to say if you're having a a sponsorship like dynasty never said in any of his videos well i can't find anything but yeah there's been lots of dramas in the makeup community surrounding it so it's interesting that he did sign this contract and he never disclosed this. I I guess it's not anything you have to disclose. It's up to you. But I guess the question is, how transparent is it? How genuine is it? How um ethical is it? Just asking questions. You can answer them. Let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you so much for joining along. Let's see what you guys saying yeah 23 leave a like um just Dre, uh just drew <laughs> Dre. <laughs> it's my birthday all over again and again every time i hear this sing song oh lovely drew sean chris sound can you hear me can can you hear me oh okay um Leo, still the shellbot. Oh no, Jericho, how do you know my code name? Oh no. T800, okay. Um, who is this? Oh, that's Alan Johnson. Um, yes, work. It's a lifestyle like malaria. Oh my god. Blood Ferox rocks. Oh, you better leave a like, T800. Aw, F. Aw, sorcerer. Whatever you want to be added back, just let me know, okay? Don't don't worry. If you need some time, it's okay. But I love you, brother. I love you, babes. Don't worry. Um. So let's see. Uh. Yes. So that was that little clippy that I wanted to share from that. But um, here we've got this wonderful. I just, I don't know what's going on with Brandt. This Brandt McCaskill, he is definitely angry about something. This is the guy that said that everyone should be put on a list. So, um, I copy-pasted his tweets here. 
let's just um hear what he has to say <laughs> oh no where did it go okay let's try that again Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to copy paste. I don't even see where it. Ah, there's just so many comments. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, you can see it's wild. Like, look how long this madness is. <laughs> It's just really long. Oh, I also think... Maybe something's been deleted. Oh. Show replies. Yeah, I think things have been deleted. This is kind of wild. I mean... You can just see from a glance. Brant is very upset about people talking out about Mortal Kombat 1. Um, yeah. I just, I don't know how to feel about this. Especially I can't find it. Now, I, I do think something's been deleted. Okay, so let's go back here. I am determined to use this. So we're going to hear this. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I'm trying new technology. So I wasn't saying nobody could critique, criticize one Malawian Kwacha, but was merely asking for the toxic content creators who feast on negativity <laughs> constantly to go away. Isn't that These so? sinks and it's missing so modes deserve criticism. So what do you want to drink from the bar? I have to hurry and respond on time. Quota. Out of context, human race. At no context, human. March 24th. What is he saying? 10.33 a.m. March 24th, 2024. Much, eh? From Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> it's much. 17.8K. Views. John Ellis. At Vader 729067. March 24th. Nope. Taking this with a grain of salt because walking wow. back to position, okay, which to I your see. Point, was There's how you just felt as so many luck. tweets. This guy the lives game on is the not Twitter. In a good place, and the vocal minority who have been negative about the game have now become the vocal majority. The devs don't listen. Brant McCaskill at Bam Bam Gator, <laughs> March 24th. Do you love the AI? Absolute zero walk back. I make zero apologies and feel certain content okay, creators so there's more. should be removed from all considerations. They're toxic and their opinions are moot. This is a humorous tweet while clarifying comments. My tweet history and one podcast episode is public where. Show replies. David McFarland. At XX Tiger XX. March 24th. <laughs> I'm just dying. I love the AI. So as you can see, like it's just blowing up on Twitter. This is another reason why I don't use Twitter. You can see a picture of fate. He's talking about fate. I'm trying to understand exactly. But I don't get it. These are the people I'm referring to. I have been man Jesus. I've been saying I've probably tweeted this a hundred times today while at work. Yeah. So he's constantly posting on Twitter. <laughs> about this MK. It's kind of wild. I can't I can't even decipher it for you. I was hoping the AI could. But it gets even more deep. Like this is he was referring to test your might. So testyourmite.com. <sighs> uh, it, it's wild. There is some sort of post drama happening on dark corners of the internet because of Mike Hollow fate brant mccaskill i can't even decipher it it's very hard to decipher but there was more <laughs> drama the drama just doesn't stop i really don't <laughs> i really don't get it so let's change it to a uk voice 
Okay, here we go. I'll just let him read. At Infinite Retro. Put your reading glasses on you Fisher-Price Steve Austin and pay attention. You've been sitting in that hole in the dark pointing fingers at the camera, talking shit, playing the victim or rewriting history. You've gone from 8.20 a.m. March 23rd, 2024. 659. <laughs> Not the views. 659 views. Mike Hollow. Disagreeing on MK to randomly attacking Muslims, talking about another man's mum, and making weird assumptions and accusations about others. You're a coward because any time you're confronted you shrivel up into a ball and start stuttering. Even your own. Mike Hollow. At real Mike Hollow. <laughs> it's wild, isn't this just so wild? Audience is starting to get fed up with you. We may all have differing opinions on MK, and we may not see eye to eye, but it stays on the game. You decided to go one step further. The only reason why you won't get on a live stream and talk is because you know you'll be finished. Mike Hollow. Oh, wow. Okay, so, like, I mean, there, and it's, it's another long one. Like, all of the beefs. There are so many beefs. So we have Brant McCaskill beefing with one side of the community. Then we've got this. Look how long it is. I'm not reading all of it. It's too much. It's way too much. I don't know what's going on. The accusations are just getting wild. Who's talking about Muslims? <laughs> Who's talking about Muslims? I'm so confused. Uh, it's just it's just much it's definitely just much so um yeah there's more it, it just gets deeper and deeper so this is from sikander like his twitter is insane <laughs> everything is insane right now so um sikander made a bunch of tweets I, I guess in reference to his relationship with his mother. Why are so many? Oh, I should get the, the AI to read it. Yes, please, AI ma'am. I want to hear. Why I, are yeah. so many PPL on my dick? <laughs> PPL. From 50-year-old men to men in their 30s commenting on my behavior to PPL in their 20s telling me what to do W myself holy shit. Watch my gameplay or don't. I do not care what the FCK you think about me as a person. The gameplay is all that matters. I mean, like, if I, I think, you know, to some extent, the, the character of the person matters. It does matter to some extent. I see what he's saying. Keep it on the game. But I do think just everything right now, like having... Is a ho. Fate's mom is a ho. Fate's mom is a ho. Like, <laughs> whoa. It's wild, and it's been remixed. It's a song. I'm not a biologist. I don't know what to think about all of this. All I know about is PPL. <laughs> PPL. Oh my god. Sounds like listening to a, a comprehension test from Cambridge. There is, um, I, 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 I think there's use for AI. <laughs> I'm glad work's almost over. EA. I feel this is how a real biologist would speak. Exactly. Exactly. All of this is just too much. And um I think we're everyone is losing focus of <laughs> Derek Kurtzik lied to me. <laughs> I think we're losing focus about that. <laughs> like, like, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the game devs. It's, it's just much. It's really much. And I, I like, I think, um, I think it continues, right? Let's see. March 24th. It goes on and on. 
So there's this tweet here from Foxy Grandpa. Right? So what? what's that about? <laughs> what is that about? Oh, yeah. And there's been, like, hours and hours of streams about this. I can't even. Just everyone wasting too much time on this BS. Sikander. And it seems like Sikander had his mom with him. Yeah. Remember th- so I'm glad that they clipped it from the stream and put it in the Twitter so I don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> it, this is this is wild, right? Mothers are getting presents and it's all, every lady on a TikTok, every t- YouTube, whenever I see them, they're getting oh. iPhone, uh, iPhone 15 Pro. Oh, she wants an iPhone 15. <laughs> I don't know what she wants. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what is this. What is this? Just <laughs> what is going on? I love it, though, that he's with his mom. <laughs> I like my mom. <laughs> but this is just so... It's just... It's much. This way you will end up. Everything is much from everyone. Everyone is much. It, but it is leading to good entertainment. <laughs> this is bootleg Game of Thrones. Who's gonna who's gonna sit on the Iron Throne? Is because it Daenerys? Again, I don't take video games seriously. Am I Daenerys? I Can I be Daenerys? And I want to be able to focus on the gameplay and the player that I'm fighting without any distractions in the house that do not give. There is no reason why I should be distracted. She is not arguing or screaming at anyone on the phone. They're not having an argument. Okay, he's talking about his mom. Because I quoted it. Nope. Don't li- <laughs> oh my god. What are these tweets? I wish I had the AI reader. I, say nothing if she- I can't even repeat these things. I'll leave it to the AI re- reader to say these things. Because I'm not saying them. Copy. <laughs> Paste. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what Foxy Grandpa has to say about all of this. To view keyboard shortcuts, press question <laughs> not at the, AF0 not the XY shortcuts. Grandpa. I'm the only pro player you've ever spoken to. Agreed. Also wouldn't ever scream at my own mother like sick. However, I don't think that's as bad as basically being a closeted clansman. What? <laughs> I didn't bother what? keeping up with you lately. Checked in recently. You're slipping. Quote. Infinite Retro. At Infinite Retro. March 21st. The only pros are a disgusting, degenerate godless pile of filth. This was a snippet from a dynasty response to the actual lolcar of MK. I told you these people would expose themselves eventually, and they have. 8.27pm March 24th, 2024. 30.3k views oh okay i i must interject here you know like i don't know anything about anyone's family i don't think anyone knows anything about anyone's family so i would like to encourage everyone in the comments to just not be talking about anyone's family um thank you (laughs) yay views af0xy grandpa at AF0XY Grandpa. 18H. <laughs> if your KKK views on slavery and gays weren't enough, if you dig a little, you're also seen denying the Holocaust. Anybody who is a fan of you should see this and I want to know what they could possibly say to defend you. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> no! Not that you're asking me for $19 a month. Do you see this bitch? This AI bitch, they give us a little bit of AI and then they're like, you want more AI? No, you got to pay for that. I love this AI though. <laughs> Can I get it for free? <laughs> Damn you. Oh, I wasted it. And I was using it beforehand before I even started the stream. I'm screwed. <laughs> the AI is so wonderful because then I don't have to say any of this contentious BS. It can just be said for itself. Um, but yeah, I, I have no idea. Let's click. Hmm. 
<laughs> Rumble. <laughs> Why is it on Rumble? Uh, so the guy from World War Two was Christian. Oh, okay. So you actually believe that happened? Wow. People really are brainwashed. I don't get it. Okay. Well, what are we talking about? There's an old saying. The victors are the ones that write the history. Not the losers. Okay. <laughs> There's too many words. <laughs> what's going on? I wish someone would just commentate and <laughs> tell me what's going on. So, okay, let's go back to the tweet. I, you know, I kind of miss this AI reader. He was very useful. <laughs> We're asking for a new link. Okay, so what is this? Where did I go? See, like, all the tweets circle back in on each other. I just don't understand what's going on. So it references that first tweet that we were looking at with Brandt. I'm still uncertain how all of this fits together. I'm trying to catch up on the bootleg Game of Thrones lore. But really, the, the drama is just so wild. Like, who thought we would now be, like, talking about World War II? I mean, like, didn't I just say the other day that I was watching World War I documentary? <laughs> Did you know there was a lot of Canadians dead at Vimy Ridge? <laughs> oh, no. They fought for our, <laughs> for our, um, our country. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is just, like, it makes me die a little bit inside that, like, this is what it's coming <laughs> to. It also appears that this isn't an isolated case. The only videos involving you that are on the internet from the last 13 or so years involve a constant themes. I'm trying to read it like an AI. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> and then it's like, I, I just, I don't, I don't know where they're, what's going on. Hello, Villa Lion here, and boy do I have a treat for you. Now, today is April the 23rd, it's a Tuesday. Mortal Kombat 11 has just released. And if you don't know anything about Mortal Kombat, it has these things called towers. Towers are like Mortal Kombat's um, answer to arcade mode. You know, where you pick a character, you fight... I know about towers. Then what's going on? Is the final boss of the game. Right. And what is this video? Challenge, you get to see a little what-if scenario. How does... What honestly, do. like, how does all of this fit in? But I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm so curious. The drama is like is just it's too much. Is is your pussy on fire yet? Into the abyss. I swear all these guys have so much growing up to do. I know. Like don't we have things to do? It's just very entertaining. I will say that. Jericho, a David Harris Targaryen. OMG, thank you. I'm going to be the mother of bunnies. Not not dragons, just bunnies. You can be what you want to be. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this guy, oh, Lord. Wow, banger. This is the epitome of crazy. I feel, yeah, this is, ju it's just too much. I'm still struggling to figure out how it all s fits together. They ever beat the final boss. In number nine, I think it was Shao Kahn. In ten, it was Shinnok. In this one... It, What's I he talking about? Let's awesome fast forward. Time, but I know the main villain has time travel powers. So it, it shows you a cutscene of what happens when you kill, if, if, when that character kills the main villain and get time travel powers. I just, I don't get, okay, so it clearly uh, has someone on the thumbnail. But uh, that's, that's why I'm not showing it. Also, I'll leave a link down below so you can watch the Jack's ending in case you think I'm lying or anything. Right, you know, oh, we're talking about Jack's ending. I mean, Jack's ending is woke. It says get woke. It's quite literally in the title. All, just to be fair. So near the realm of Warner Brothers have advocated for the genocide of white people. As per Jax's ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, I, I thought it was ESG, but I didn't know it was. Do you guys, like, know those tweets about trans genocide? transgenocide and that's what i'm that's kind of what i'm getting wikipedia transgender genocide is a term used by some scholars and activists to describe an elevated level of systematic discrimination and violence against transgender people yeah i'm getting a little bit about that genocide of white people like what, what? 
watching on the screen where he decides and says oh with all cringe that the world isn't getting fast enough woke so he decides to use this time thingamajiggy to keep going back in time to fix history until he i would like to use jax's thingamajiggy <laughs> is black apparently oppressed people are saved this fucking idiot has never ever I mean, like, we're, we are pulling up old, old, old tea, old drama. I, I'll, I, you know, I, I have no idea about all of this stuff. This is all just brand new news to me. So hearing it and seeing it is like, I love it. <laughs> There's too much drama. Where's the popcorn? In retrospect, it was a mistake opening this Pandora's box of shit posting. It's no longer even about talking about MK. Yeah, like we got people talking about mommies. <laughs> we got people talking about um, <laughs> white people, white people being unalive. You know what? I was watching um, a documentary because that's what I like to do, and I was watching about like the Ottoman Empire, how they got involved with like Germany and even Soviet Russia before um world war Two, and like what they did to like armenian people and greek people in world war one and like germany was like we need to do that <laughs> lol okay so i like history i think history is very interesting but like this history on the internet like this is why i don't use internet Try and look up history on me. I dare you. You're going to find nothing because there's nothing. I mean, like, quite literally, I've been enjoying living my life outside in the real world. Only is it now that I come to you on the Internet because, well, it's sort of my job now to look after my mom. So I'm at home all the time. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is like, um, this is very interesting. <laughs> What's going on? And when you inevitably make 30 videos about this, make sure you play back those parts of your streams word for word. I mean, the tweets, they're, uh, they're tweeting. The tweets are tweeting. So ghosty interjects. Ew, never heard of him. And I regret I watched this. He knows you. He's made enough videos about you. Is this a hater in MK1 timeline, or was he around before? <laughs> Good to hear I was relevant. He's been around many years, basically doing the same thing. Yeah, you had your moment in the spotlight. You're clear of the firing zone for right now, <laughs> but probably not talking here. You know what? Like, Ghosty told people, get good, and that we're horny for bikinis. And Fourth Snake said that she had dog shit opinions. So I think it's it's true to dislike Ghosty for a reason, Foxy Grandpa, which is separate from your other claims of <gasps> closeted Klansmen. Uh, I just, some of the words here are very, like, choice. Like, quote, these are my words. Quote, degenerate godless pile of filth. End quote. <laughs> this is, it's, it this is like I just can't. <laughs> this, is just, this, is, this is too much. I'm dying. Um, yeah. So the tweets are are like tweeting. I their drama is drama. There is just way too much drama. I wish I still had the stupid voice reader though. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, I can't believe they want you to pay for that. Yeah, I guess everything is like, <laughs> they're going to make you pay. But I just find this like exchange very interesting. So like, I think you can see that there are definitely different factions the in the Game of Thrones Westeros battle for Nether Realm. Okay, can we can we read it? 
six two one one. <laughs> Convert. Oh, they got me. Oh, they got me. It's not immediate. Oh, the first one's better because <laughs> it does it immediately. Infinite retro. At infinite retro. March twenty third. For the entire time until the interaction with sniveling cretins such as yourself, not a single person mentioned anything of lies and clickbait until your little beta group. Wonder why that is? Always needing that audience, eh, Michael? Why is that? Your dopamine levels low? Mike Hollow. At Real Mike Hollow. March 23rd. Says the one having a fit in front of the camera every single day about other men not liking him? That's rich. Like I said, bitch made. Run along and make another incoherent video then. I understand you don't want people invading your safe space, waving hand medium dark skin tone. Infinite Retro. At Infinite Retro. March 23rd. <laughs> I oh, love no, the bro. Voice. I don't care about being liked. I care They're about integrity now. and honesty. These are Two words you seem to lack in their understanding. <laughs> the <Karens are fighting. laughs> How many times have we spoken, Michael? It doesn't work. Want to know why? Because you have no intention of figuring it out, little butterfly. <laughs> Not Mike the Hollow. butterfly. I love Mariah At real Mike Hollow. <laughs> don't come for the butterfly. March 23rd. <laughs> and speaking honestly, if we spoke in public, you'd be exposed for being a liar and a manipulator quite quickly. I don't even know who's talking. You know this, fate. <laughs> you know how quickly it is to pull apart the things you're saying. Talking. So stay in the dark. Stay protected. It's... Smart move on your end. <laughs> Infinite Retro. <sighs> oh, At I Infinite think... Retro. March 23rd. You know, I keep seeing these lies you claim I say, yet you provide zero evidence. Mike Hollow. At Real Mike Hollow. March 23rd. Happy to provide plenty of evidence on a live stream in front of everyone. You won't cause your audience is going to turn <sighs> on you immediately. Isn't it a little tiring? Didn't you say you're against lying? <laughs> it's a little tiring. Pretty ironic. <laughs> Infinite but it, Retro. Uh, like, whoa. At Infinite the Retro. The movie, the drama. March 23rd. It's much. But you're assuming I said you <laughs> bought much. subs. Why it's are you really, so defensive, um, bro? Is this Sweep Sweep? So I'm still waiting on is these lies. Is this when they bring out all the since. plot lines? Well, forever. I'm and waiting. And they all sort of come to a fruition. To a head. At Real Mike Hollow. March 23rd. You called us a joke, but a grown man is calling you out to do the very same thing. Just whilst someone else can sit there and check you in front of everyone, and you won't. Bitch made. <laughs> Go scream into your echo chamber. When you want to have this AI. out, you I love let the me AI know. be like, bitch infinite made. Retro. <laughs> bitch At made. Infinite Retro. How does the March AI know how to do this? Seriously, not even XGFs are this desperate. Talking to you does absolutely nothing. You are intentions are clear. You're a liar and worse a manipulator and you buried yourself the moment you got it wrong. <sighs> <sighs> Apologize for being incorrect months back, and we can move forward. Mike Hollow. At Real Mike Hollow. March 23rd. You're not listening, you idiot. There is no moving forward. The purpose of speaking on a live stream is to expose you for all of your lying, not being friends. The purpose is to show everyone you're full of shit. <laughs> not me, the AI. and you will never be friends. We will never move forward. It seems like every week is Sweeps Week. I know, right? <laughs> there is too much drama. Sweeps Week from last week is continuing into this week. There's too much drama. This season with Keeping Up with the Kardashians is wild. It's so wild. And I think like all of this is just pointing to the fact that the game is so empty. That this kind of online drama is what's entertaining us. Um... I take no sides. I am neutral, Switzerland. I am just observing. And this is just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, but it's also not enough. <laughs> what is this cat fight? Um, I was in his membership, but I left MK1 Mobile. Aw. <laughs> so sorry, sorcerer. Can you track Kude? I don't know who Kude is, but we'll do it for you, sorcerer. Love you, babes. Kude. Oh, look. Th you're right. This is a person I was not aware of. He is streaming right now. You are correct. MK Mobile. 
All new changes. Oh, this is that's too much. You can keep your MK mobile. Ain't no one spending money on the mobile game here, babes. <laughs> the console game is asking for too much. The mobile game is going to ask for even more. I can't. And I don't want to hold a phone. I don't know if you guys like holding phones. I just don't want to hold a phone. <laughs> There's something wrong in my head, but I just have bad feelings, bad vibes, if you will, about holding phones. Um, uh, She is so salty. How are you doing? I am doing good. Thank you, Duan. This one found plenty of history of you on the end. <laughs> okay, what do you know about me, Duan? <laughs> Let's hear it. Um, I mean, unless it's coming from me, because, like, I do tell you guys about my life. But, um, yeah, no, I, I don't really have much of me on the internet. Um, unless you go to my grinder. <laughs> then you see everything. JK, Kamora. Well, JK. I really want RE5, a remake, to come out, and they're complaining about it, like, when it came out before. Oh, you mean the racism stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope they don't get rid of Africa. Like, I think that would be racist to get rid of Africa. I hope it's still in Africa. Um, I could never get the beast mask, though. It still eludes me, and I really want that noob Sabot mask. Beast? <laughs> beast mask? I'm not sure which one which one that is. I like Kude voice. Okay, well let's let's hear his voice. Please don't have the gold company. First. I actually have an ice pack with me because my phone I don't want to get he sounds too young <laughs> he's too young for me I can tell right away too young I don't want them when they're underdeveloped I don't want to be one of their formative memories I'd rather be a passing memory <laughs> yes a transient thought but no th these youngins uh. <laughs> and then they show up at your door and it's like, well, I didn't call you. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Have you ever had that before? Like, you talk to someone, and you're like, oh, you know, you l let's meet up sometime. And then you give them <laughs> your address. <laughs> and then they show up to your house unannounced, <laughs> looking for D. <laughs> Has that ever happened? <laughs> okay, maybe not everyone. But, yeah, I don't trust these little children anymore. <laughs> um... I just cut up, caught up on your live. I was the other one who was going back and forth with Mike on Twitter along with... I don't know. We didn't get that far. <laughs> we didn't get that far. There's a lot. Honestly, it's a lot. Um, cyber combat realm. It is too much. But it's entertaining. I take no sides. And I do quite enjoy this voice, voice reader. So I guess, like, let's... Let's um, let's recap here, because a lot of shit is going on. I don't I don't know exactly what what to believe, who to believe. Um, I keep my mind open to all possibilities. Um, but at the same time, I'm not in. I'm not getting involved with this. This sounds so wild. And I'm so glad that my name is not being mentioned in any of this because it does not involve me. I have never made any sort of wild claims like this. I might say that someone might be a shell. That's it. Never said more. Not going to say less. I just say what it is. But this kind of conversations about it's too much <laughs> it's too much the politics i can accept talking about corporate politics because that's something that we have to live with there is no ways around esg like this is what's guiding wb and all of their companies in terms of their storytelling but at the same time i don't believe that we should have any hate or harm in our hearts for anyone anyone everyone deserves love 
I give love to everyone. Everyone gets my love. Or hate equally. <laughs> hate everyone equally or love everyone equally. No, no, no. Don't hate. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, just call me Seeker. Okay, nah, keep out of it. It's too wild. I'm not getting involved with it. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want it at all, at all, at all. But I am so glad that I have never put myself out on the internet like that. And I think a lat of my statements about trans gender non-conforming lgbt well that's not i'm not calling out anyone in fact that's a call in like the call is coming from inside the house we are like i talk about it because that's stuff that concerns me like that's who i am and when i hear that sonic fox is a trans non-binary i must ask myself he looks like a boy <laughs> how is he a trans non-binary Is it because of the suit? I have to ask the questions. That's all I do. I just ask questions. I ask questions. And that's all. But I think that kind of conversation is really more so applicable to those within the LGBT. Like, if you're uh, if you're straight, like, we don't need virtue signaling um, uh, protectors to protect us. We, we can handle our own shit. My pussy be burning for a long time, and I didn't need anyone to help me with that. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let's, let's recap here. So, I did look on the Reddit, and I wanted to say I am so happy about Reddit. They're clueless. <laughs> Which is good because I know that NRS, they're looking at the Reddit and they're using this to decide, balance, test, patch, update their game. And it seems like people are struggling with the seasonal tower. Oh, be <laughs> give me a second. BRB.
Hello. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, had to go look after my mom. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely looking after my mom <laughs> takes priority over this stuff. Okay, um, let's see what you guys are saying. So sorry. <laughs> um, trans lag. Yes, pussy is burning. Definitely. This game has to be some money laundering scheme. <laughs> No, I think it's more likely that the devs just don't have the talent and just don't care. Yeah, we know that this was me meant to like be Injustice 3 with the Injustice 3 engine. It seems very likely that they did not want to make this MK game. They wanted to make Injustice. Um... Do one. Aww. <laughs> Aww. You're still here in my heart. Um, yes. Thank you. So sorry. Look, was Minator. I don't know about this one. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's just recap, like, where we're at, really, with all of this drama. So, Reddit, still clueless. And I'm kind of surprised that Reddit isn't talking about any of the stuff that we just saw with all of the stuff on Twitter, on YouTube, Dynasty, Tom Brady, Mike Hollow. I think the, the biggest thing that I took away from their little talk was right at the beginning uh, where Dynasty explained about... Alan Johnson. I mean, like, I've called this guy, um, like, I've identified this guy in previous live streams that he's responsible for influencer marketing at WB Games. And it, we heard that there was a brand deal contract signed between Dynasty, care of this guy, between Dynasty and WB Games. And we know that some other people have done this brand deal like SMG X Princess. So, yeah, I wish that things were maybe a, a little bit more regulated. Like, think about, like, the makeup community where people have to declare bland, uh, brand sponsorships. Why don't they do that? Kind of kind of strange. Also, we've got, like, this Brant guy. He is filled with all sorts of ire, and he's posting all about it on Twitter. He's mad at everyone who dislikes MK1. But it seems like he wants to create more? I, I can't even decipher it, because it's just so many texts so many tweets it really is like a circle jerk for the mind it hurts my mind to try and read all of this twitter but to know that it extends beyond twitter onto this dark place on the internet the dark web t-y-m test your might new era podcast i don't know what all of this is about i don't have the full context i am not watching all 11 episodes or 11 movies of the MCU. Like, that's... It's too much. <laughs> These people need to calm down. But, um... Yeah. I think, like, the most interesting was definitely this. Because when read by AI, it's hilarious. Maximum 300 characters, remaining 315... Oh, okay. Let's try this. And let's... I do love the AI. The AI is really good. So I'm going to put the AI back. Let's see if we can... Translate. Convert to speech. Oh, a 1520. Hopefully this is free. The maximum text limit is exceeded. Change a voice or reduce the length. Okay, we're going to go with this. Convert. I hope it works. I really like the AI. But there's all sorts of debates happening on... Yes, we spoke in private and I told you we can be cordial, but I'm not removing anything because I still believe those things about you. 
I specifically remember you agreeing to this. I don't even know where it is. Again, rewriting history. Infinite Retro. At Infinite Retro. March 23rd. Oh no I never asked for it to be removed, but since you are all about accuracy, we addressed all those concerns, which concluded with us sorting it out. It means our private conversation where you said we are blessed was actually a lie, and your intent was different. Mike Hollow. It, it's kind of like, Mike Hollow, it's kind of like, March lame modern you're Shakespeare, an imbecile. right? Fate. A I comedy of errors. I listened to what you had to say and I told you my opinion had not changed but I can be cordial, I love the AI. just the like AI I am with so other people better. I don't get on with. We are not friends. We never have been. I was being polite but upfront, and I'm telling you it again. I guess the question is, is all of this staged? Because it does feel very performative. Like, is this like... Is this like um, heel versus baby face in wrestling? Is this supposed to be? I'm I'm just I just don't get it. I just really think it's super wild, <laughs> and it's just a symptom of the fact that no one's playing the game. <laughs> Do you know what I'm playing the game? Do you know what I'm doing right now in the game? <laughs> I'm doing this. I guess I should recharge the talisman, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, Twitter is so wild. I don't use Twitter. I'm not going to. I don't want to get myself involved in this. Why can't people just admit that the game just sucks? <laughs> and we should, if we have to blame anyone, we blame the developers. Blaming each other seems really childish it seems so childish um i do sort of enjoy that there was one creative moment that came out of all of this drama which was somebody tried to make a sing song like me it wasn't as good as me but this is interesting like, how much talent does it take to make something like that? I would like to know, because I'm sure I could do something better. <laughs> but this is, this is interesting. I mean, like, can we just leave people's moms alone? Both sides. Both sides. Leave each other's moms alone. This is really, like, um, like, red wedding <laughs> stuff at Game of Thrones. Like, a line is being crossed. Right? <laughs> Somewhere? I'm just... I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. I, lol, I'm blocked or banned off Twatter. Oh, no. See, like, I don't even interact with people on Twatter. So, I guess this is why I'm not blocked. <laughs> um, Valentine. Yikes. Yeah, this is all very yikes. Seems fake. Twatter, yeah, what? I can't bring myself to watch any of the Ant-Man. I can't watch anything MCU. He also talks about MK1. Okay, I blocked the MK subreddit. They are hypocrites who don't practice what they preach. Extremely rude echo chamber. I think there is, like, danger of everywhere, like, becoming echo chamber. But I like to have, you know... I think we have disagreeing, um, like, different opinions in our little bunny fam in the secret group chat, but we don't hate each other. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we can all recognize that we're just friends at the end of the day, right? Um, yeah, so the... <laughs> the the music i will say that like this is this is um cutesy yeah this is good it's giving me ideas of how i could improve my own sing songs i've just watched the video of you quote unquote um yeah like all of it seems performative everyone involved seems to be doing like a role a line because it just seems so wild that it must be scripted. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Doesn't it? And then we have like this. My grandmother, my grandfather, my mom, my dad, my dad going after my grandmother, his mother. Okay. My dad going after his mom. 
my what is mom he talking going after about? my dad, my dad going after my mom, my mom going after my granddad. I grew up in a... He said, Allah is Satan. <laughs> you want to talk about jokes and being this and that, but you're over here disrespecting I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but like you just hear the claims. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> what? Are, no, Valentine. I think he. someone made like a clip of Sikander making it into like a rap diss track by Sikander. Which is why I'm saying I think I can make a better rap diss track. <laughs> Have you heard um the uh MK1 Shills Paradise? <laughs> J4, where are you? <laughs> Shout out for your birthday. Um, but yeah, I think I think I can I can do that. Don't get me started on the cookie monster. Yeah. So yeah, this is it's just it's so it's so wild. And I think it just gets way more wild here with Foxy Grandpa. <laughs> with the closeted Klansman statement. I didn't I didn't even know about this. Degenerate godless pile of filth, right? KKK slavery gays. If these were keywords on a video, like I'm sure the video would do very well. <laughs> Not denying the Holocaust. I'm dying. This guy thinks MK eleven is racist. I don't I don't think it's like is it racism? I definitely think there are some points where it's like anti-white. But is it racism? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because like, it's just part of the co corporate woke agenda that they're trying to push with ESG. Yeah, like get woke. Um, and yeah, people like that. I was kind of surprised. Where where did I hear? Oh yeah, it was RuPaul's Drag Race. They were making white jokes. So in their mind, they don't see it as racist. I guess it is kind of racist. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So with the Jacks ending, all you see is like only black people, but it, nowhere did it say that Jacks killed white people. I'm just trying to think about it. It's just too much. I'm thinking lots of things. It's, 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 I, I didn't read genocide from the Jack sending. I'll definitely say that. Did not read genocide. Even if it is, we aren't allowed to call it that. Oh no. We prefer the cookie clicker. Don't get me started on cookie monster. Ooh, I love cookie clicker. Sikander sounds like the C. Um, I don't know what it's. Uh, oh, Cookie Monster. Oh, J4. <laughs> hey. Uh, the Jack's ending in. Uh, yeah, I mean, like this is this is about Jack's tower ending for sure. Hello, fast enough woke. So he decides to use this time thingamajiggy to keep going back in time to fix history until his black, apparently oppressed people, are saved. This fucking idiot has never ever once in the history of Mortal Kombat talked like this at all, right? Ever. Can we just say that everyone's been, you know, like, victim of slavery? There's been white slaves. There's been uh, black slaves. There's been Chinese slaves. There's been Indian slaves. There's been, North, like, Native American slaves. Like, there's been slaves everywhere. Can we, can we just talk, like, talk about kindness for all? Now, first things first. He says that um, he he kind of he says that black people like are oppressed. He says it like that, in a way that suggests Jack says it during his ending. He never says that, right? Number one, and number two, he also says that Jax has never spoken this way. I've seen a lot of people say this actually. They say Jax has never spoken this way, you know, about like ending racism and everything and everything throughout all of Mortal Kombat. And you know what? I don't think you can end racism. As long as people look different, people will always be like, you, "You're different." That that I, I don't think I wanted to. I want to go on a limb here. I have I've only played Mortal Kombat nine and ten, but I don't think Jax has ever said in the first eight games in the Mortal Kombat series. I don't think he's ever just sat down and said, "You know what? I think I'd end slavery if, if I had time god powers." You know, it's. I do think that, like, the Jacks ending in MK11, it's kind of like, <laughs> get woke. I ain't got centuries for people to get woke. But now it's, like, one of my favorite things to tell people. 
<laughs> like get woke to NRS. Get woke to their lies. Um is it racist? Uh I I I I do think that it's like pro black anti everyone else, but I don't I don't know. I'm just I struggle. I struggle a little bit here. In retrospect, it was a mistake opening this pant. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm expecting that there's going to be lots of more just stuff happening here, just <laughs> more drama. I can't wait for the more drama to happen. It seems quite entertaining. I don't know why people use Twitter. Just don't use Twitter. <laughs> I'm not using Twitter anymore. <laughs> but I can't. I can't with this. Just listen. Infinite Retro. At Infinite Retro. March 23rd. Is that a fact? Is it see you don't end up in a better place at the end where it actually was worked out? Or so I thought. Otherwise, why would I have... You know what? I like Shannon Doherty's podcast more. Do you guys know Shannon Doherty? <laughs> I mean, the drama is too much. It's killing me. But I love Shannon Doherty. I love, I love, um, hearing about how she's she's about to die, <laughs> and that's why you know she wants all her flowers before she dies. So <laughs> I love her. I'm giving her her flowers. So I like listening to her podcast, but like, honestly, I don't want to listen to three hours about Sikander and his mom, nor do I want to read all of these tweets between Mike and infinite retro. Like, can we, can, we, can we just move on, do something better? Like I fully had to get up and go and help my mom in the middle of this live stream. So, so yeah, like, don't we have more pressing needs pressing urges and i think like really this whole entire conversation that's going on on twitter about people's moms people's religions what we got in the closet <laughs> like it's just much can we talk about the game can we talk about the game devs like <laughs> lest we forget janet cage is coming in two days she she's coming out um i'm coming out i'm coming out i want the world to know gotta let it show right like <laughs> we're gonna have janet coming out in two days can, can we can we can we talk about that <laughs> no can we talk about her ugly <laughs> ugly makeup and little boy ponytail <laughs> not that um, not that the, like, Scorpion has more feminine hair than Janet. Because Scorpion, he has the little, like, chignon. The high chignon. Um, that's what you would have to wear if you're going on Go Sees for America's Next Top Model. <laughs> so I see Scorpion's hairstyle. More feminine than Janet's little mask ponytail. Which is what I had in college. All I care about is Ermac. Yes, let's go, Ermac. Isn't Infinite Retro Fate? Yes. I'd rather listen to Megan Fox's interview about her surgeries. That's more entertaining. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not aware of that. That sounds cool. Yes, the drama between her and Alyssa Milano. Yes, <laughs> that is part of it. But she had drama with a lot of people. I should say she still does have that drama. She's not dead yet. I love Jax's ending. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, it's okay if you like it. I just feel like it's very corporate pandery. I don't, I don't accept this corporate pandery. Because these people don't care about marginalized communities. For if they did, they would offer us true representation. They would put me in the video game. But they don't. <laughs> Instead, they have these make-believe, pretend wannabes as representation in what we're supposed to be like. Yeah, this is this is great. I know real trans and tr real trans don't look like Janet Cage. They look better. 
<laughs> do you know Sasha Colby? I mean, like, I, I guess we started it off with, like, a uh, drag race reference. <laughs> this is, we can, we can do this, too. Sasha Colby, G-O-D-D-E-S-S. -S. That bitch is a goddess. G-O-D-D-E-S-S. -S. Oh, it's not the performance. The performance kills. Oh, here we go. I love me my trans, but why can't I have me a sexy trans? Like, why doesn't she look like Kim Petras? Why does she look like Janet Gage? Uh, that's all I ask. Why, why can't we have actual beauty? Beauty's not allowed. Um, But yeah, so, so wild. Hopefully this drama did make your <laughs> pussy catch on fire. It's, do you smell that? It's like something's burning. Is that my pussy? Yes. <laughs> did your pussy, <laughs> pussy catch fire? Mine did. I just can't understand what's going on. And I am like <laughs> burning and I need some ointment to get rid of it. Okay, um, I'm part of a charmed website, and people talked about Shannon and Aly 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 Alyssa's feud nonstop. Yes. I don't know that, Duan. I'm not a biologist. <laughs> she has disappeared, same as Diana. Um, it's funny how these people let themselves get divided when they actually all agree this game sucks. Yeah. Right. Everyone's on the same side. And that's why I started off here saying, like, everyone here on my shell list, I think the mission has been accomplished. The general consensus is that the game sucks and people are identifying it. I mean, we may not agree on everything that everyone is saying. Like, Foxy is telling... Foxy and Uncaged are saying that people should pay for skins so that pro scenes can have a salary. Like, whatever. I'm not paying your salary. Um. Also, like... It doesn't matter, though, because now we're all just identifying that NRS or the game is not living living up. Some of us don't want to blame NRS, but it seems like we're all on the same side. Some of us don't like bikinis, ghosty, or sexy women. <laughs> but, yeah, I think we're, we're getting somewhere closer to just having an end to all of this. Right? Like, we we don't need to be fighting if we're all agreeing, basically. Right. Anyways, F me hard. Um, Kate Middleton, yes. <laughs> I feel so bad for Kate. Poor Kate. Um, speaking of woke, I woke up this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friends, for joining along. I would love to hear your opinion about any of the the topics and issues that we um, talked about, or at least the AI spoke to us about. Um, keep it civil. <laughs> Let's be kind to everyone. But yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining along. Please do leave a like. If you really enjoy what goes on here, please do consider supporting the channel, joining the Jaded Bunny fam. You get access to secret vids, secret builds, all of the secrets are yours. Please do consider joining. Oh, yeah, we had a cough just this couple of days ago. Yeah, we we'll love to get together, have matches that's fun. So yes, hopefully you do join. Much love to everyone in my bunny fam and especially those that are here in the live stream chat. Love you, Just Drew, Chris Prince, Swishbish, Leo, um, F me hard, Akuma slash Sorcerer. Not Freud. Um, Swishbish. Uh, I think I got everyone. J4. Ah, thank you, J4. Love you, brother. Um, love all you guys here. Thank you so much for joining along. But I'm praying that you're staying out of the drama. But hopefully you've got a bucket of popcorn nearby. 
And maybe a fire extinguisher for that burning kitty cat. But yes, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Uh, Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.